so welcome to Gentle Yoga and Meditation on Saturday mornings. I'm Rachel Chase and it is April 25th, 2020. Mm, so nice to have you here with me. All right, I'm going to get on my mat now. So just get comfortable. We'll start seated like we usually do. <clears throat> we'll take some slow breaths here, just coming into the breath and the body, easing into it, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Maybe sighing a little if you need to. Just to ah, drop some tension and stress, get in touch with your emotions. Ah. Close your eyes. Focus down in your body. And start to just let the breath come in, in and out through your nose. And lengthen it and deepen it and slow it down. Expanding the rib cage and the belly and the chest and filling up and exhaling all the way. And a few more times, just connecting with long, deep breathing. Relaxing your face and your shoulders. And centering yourself. Notice how it feels when you breathe, how the energy moves through your body. So important to breathe throughout your day like this. Just breathe in deep and out slow. It circulates flow of energy in your body and renews the lungs. Brings in fresh oxygen to the brain deliberate slow deep breathing it can even be a little more vigorous so let's bring the hands together in front of the heart center and rub the palms back and forth <clears throat> and then bring the hands to your heart center in a prayer pose and take a deep breath in and hold it in and just out the nose exhale Again, inhale, hold it, exhale nose, one more time, deep in, hold, 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 out the nose, and pausing here, noticing your breath in your body. Connect your mental focus down into the center of your chest, the heart center. You may notice your heartbeat. Notice the rise and fall of your chest. Feel that your breath is moving you. Your breath is actually moving you. Get in touch with that. Notice where you're not breathing. Where is the breath not going to in your body? Can you create a little more space in your inner awareness for the breath to move through your entire body? your entire subtle body, your emotional body, your mental body, your physical body, your energy body. 
Find out for yourself what that might feel like to be aware of all of these aspects of your being. And then gather up all of your mental faculties <laughs> and draw them into the center of your, of your mind, of your attention, of your focus. Right into the center as if you're consolidating all of your energy into a kind of central focus of, of being within yourself. Give yourself this opportunity to experience what it's like to do that, to center and to ground. Notice the ground beneath you, the feeling of sitting. Keep breathing. Another deep breath in now, deep, deep in, holding in. Let that energy go into your brain, breath energy, and then release. Bring the hands down onto your knees and legs and just kind of massage your legs here as you breathe. Just rubbing your legs. Hey folks, I know there's some people coming in here. Just come into your breath and center yourself if you're just showing up for class here today. Just do some breathing, centering. Take some deep, slow breaths. All right, so now we're going to make some circles with the upper body around the lower body. For those of you who might be new to my class, I use a combination of styles of yoga, kundalini yoga, hatha yoga. As you're circling, breathe deep in and out. Feel into your hips. Go the other way. Feel that massaging in your belly. Breathe with the movement. Very important to link up your breath with your movement. Come back to center, deep breath and hold it in, long spine. Exhale. And now we're going to rock the spine forward and back. Inhaling, exhaling. Really good to get your spine moving. That's how we clear out the kind of st stuckness or heaviness in the nervous system. Keep that spine moving so it keeps you young. Flexible. Come to center again. Take a deep breath. Hold it in. Draw in your belly a little bit. Breath energy contained up in the body. And then release it. Just let it go. Stay in this lifted posture with your belly in just a little and breathe slowly. 
I like us to come back to something we've been doing the past couple of classes by visualizing the flow of the breath. In other words, connecting your inner focus in with the breath as it flows in and out. And imagine and notice and follow the inhale through your body to the top of the head and just above. And then follow the exhale down and you might know, just imagine it going down through your spine down all the way to the earth and in, into the earth through your body into the earth we'll just do that a couple more times draw it inhale up from the earth through your body above the top of the head and then exhale it down to the earth. This is going to help you slow your breath down and make it full and complete. And use everything, use your belly, use your chest, use your whole body to breathe. Just let it go up and down. And that's a wonderful breathing exercise you can do anytime during your day to bring calm and clear your emotions. All right, so let's do some shoulder rolls now. Big circles. Maybe make a little sound. Ha. <sighs> Let it go of that tension there. Hmm. Just massaging your shoulders. And go the other way when you're ready. Big circles. And down. Draw your shoulders up. Inhale, squeeze them up to your ears. And drop. Exhale. Let's do two more. Up down again up and down and lower your chin down toward your chest here for a moment breathing into the back of your neck let out a little sigh or a big sigh and then begin to circle your head big circles just rolling around and massaging your neck. <sighs> Let it feel really good and nurturing. Breathe into little tight spots. And go the other way. Big circles. Big circles. Breathe in when your chin goes up. Breathe out when your chin goes down. Feel that your chest opens up. Move your neck in any direction, maybe side to side, little <sighs> inhaling and exhaling, or even tilting. Breathe in and out when you tilt, <sighs> soften your shoulders, let the neck release naturally, go gentle. You don't want to force it or push it or yank it, go gentle. All right, back to center. Feel your whole body here, now, present. Open the arms and big stretch, inhale. Reach up into the air. Exhale, open out and down. 
And just keep moving the arms here. Out and up. Inhale. Gazing up a bit. Exhale. Out and down. Exhale. Let's do a few more sets like that. Inhaling. Exhaling. Oh, maybe a little yawn. Ah. It's good to yawn. Ah. Yawning lets out stress. Oh, yeah. We gotta release that stress. It gets stuck in the body if we don't move it. Let it go. Let's do one more. When you get up to the air, just place your palms together for a moment. Just feel that you are whole. You are here. You are in your body. Just envision your energy is strong. You're connected in the earth. And you have everything you need right here. Bring the palms to heart center and just take a bow for a moment. Just a little bow to your heart, to your life, to this moment. To the gifts that are here inside of you. Just sending a wave of love and peace from the center of your being out into the world. Sending waves of love and peace out into the world with every breath. All right, let's bring the legs out in front. <clears throat> Bounce your knees. Mm-hmm. Move them a lot. And circle your ankles. Notice your ankles. Look at your legs. Notice your breath. Notice everything moving. Go the other way. Changing directions. Breathing. And rock left and right. Move your feet up and down. Squeeze the toes a bit, not too tight. Sometimes we squeeze too tight, gives a little Charlie horse, so we don't want to squeeze too tight, just little pumps. And breathe. Move your ankles in all directions, whatever feels good. Bring the knees up and out, tap the inner edge, down and up the legs. Breathe. Get those little tender spots, give your legs lots of love, love, love. And breathe. <laughs> Never do that enough. <laughs> Keep breathing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Drum your legs. <sighs> Maybe little pats. And bring them up. Same thing. Get into your hips and go down and up. And down and up. You may find that you want to massage some little areas. <clears throat> those little acupressure spots. All around the knee area. Do some circles. We have a lot of lymph nodes in this area, so it's nice to 
massage around. Maybe even little calf massages. Relax your calves and rub the calves. Just give your legs some love here. Your feet. Give the feet some love. Just little circles. Be pushing through the center area. Around the pads and the toes. All around. Just give your feet lots of love here. Breathe. All right, circling around the knees here. Stretch the legs back out. <clears throat> All right, arms up in the air, toes up, arms up, breathe. Focus up to your hands above you. Take some slow breaths. Feel the sensations in your hands. And then exhale, come on down. Hands to the toes or the legs or the mat. Curve your upper spine a bit. And just soften into your stretch here. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Let go. Ho, ho, ho. Drop your shoulders. Release, relax. <sighs> Get what you need. Do what works for you. Your body. Everybody's body's different. Some people can't touch their toes. That's okay. <laughs> I just, I'm flexible, you know? I mean, I've been dancing since I was born. <laughs> I know my mom's here, so, right, mom? <laughs> All those years of ballet. Okay, so just come up. <laughs> Bring the legs open. <sighs> Bounce your knees. Make some circles with your upper body around. Breathe. And just work with the body you have. As long as you keep it moving and breathing. That's what matters. Connecting with yourself. Go the other way. Come up to center, lift your toes up a little bit, doesn't have to be like super up, they can just be out a little. Slide your hands down toward your ankles and hinge forward, draw in your belly. Just feel your spine long here and breathe. Breathe with your belly, feel when you inhale, you fill up. When you exhale, you push it out. Go to your edge, wherever that may be. If you want to bring your hands in front, whatever works for you. Breathe. Come up slowly, inhale. And shimmy your legs back together. Shimmy, shake, shimmy, shake. <laughs> Swing the knees up and out again and soles of the feet together. My feet just feel like they want a massage today. So I'm going to say let's all give ourselves extra foot massages today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're used to wearing different shoes than you are when you're at home a lot. You know, maybe our, our feet are adjusting too. <laughs> Quarantine feet. <laughs> Do some foot soaks, Epsom salts, you know, baths are great, but also just soaking your feet. 
All right. Rock left and right. Mm. Come back to center. Sit tall for a moment. Focus on the center of your body again. Back to that same breath where you exhale down to the earth and then inhale through your body up to the top of the head. You know, eyes open or closed, it's up to you. Breathe up to the top of the head and down into the earth. And then we'll just take a little forward hinge and reach forward. And breathe here. If you want to curve the upper spine and come forward, you can do that. Take a few breaths doing what works for your body and what you need here. That might even mean walking the hands left and right a little, getting a little side stretch or a little diagonal reach. Keep the hips on the ground. Breathe. And then back up, reach back, lift the chest, take a few breaths here, opening the body up. Feel the rib cage, feel the chest, feel the belly, feel the breath. Open your jaw, open your mouth. <sighs> Bring the body back up and legs back out. Let's do a little reverse plank here. I like to have my fingers pointed toward the body, but you can have them pointed away from the body. It's up to you. It's just simply rooting in with your heels and then pushing up. Keep your chin in or head up. It's up to you and your body and whatever you need and what you can do. Just take a few breaths there. And down. Bend the knees, feet on the mat. And now we'll do a hip lift. Inhale up. Keep your legs parallel there. And exhale down. Pause for a moment. And again, inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Up. Down. And up. And down. All right. Let's take a little recovery moment. Reach forward, take a breath. <sighs> and come back up. All right, let's come around here for extended child's pose. Easing back into it. And just relax in your extended child's pose and breathe slow, release any tension that's ready to go here. Just hanging out in your extended child's pose. And then come back up. And if you can sit in rock pose for a moment, sit in rock pose. Let's take a few breaths.
there's a movement that I really love to do where we you dive down you kind of hunch forward and then you inhale and you look forward and you scoop your spine all the way up sitting maybe we'll just do a few of those exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up and again exhale down inhale up bring the arms out up and into the air interlace your fingers except for the first finger you're gonna stick your first finger straight up into the air and, and cross your thumbs over each other draw your belly in and squeeze your energy up squeeze your body in and up and then exhale again inhale up exhale one more time inhale and exhale release and come right to hands and knees knees under hips hands under shoulders we'll begin cat cow inhaling and exhaling feel your hands connected on the mat stay present with what you're doing your body your breath Come back to center take a breath in and exhale curve in on the side wagging your tail inhale center exhale other side squeeze in on the side keep going side to side And then just any direction you want to go in. Maybe there's some circling or other little movements you want to do. And then bring the knees wide open and we'll come back for extended child's pose with the knees wide here. Really reach your hands way out. Open your shoulders. You can have your forehead on the mat or... Just bring your chest down. It's up to you, whatever your body is kind of asking for here. Maybe even hands in prayer pose like this. And then ease it back up slowly. Coming to downward dog. Take your time getting into it. Feel your palms flat, fingers spread out a bit. Your heels working their way to the mat. Your tailbone working its way up to the sky. Walking your dog rolling through your toes breathe stretch through your ankles your calves your hamstrings breathe 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 strong arms get into your breath feel your heels come up and down Steady yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale to a plank position. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back. Pause for a moment with your hips back and your toes tucked under a little. Make some fists open and close your hands. Move your wrists. Maybe even squeeze your hands together. Come back to downward dog. Pausing there. Bring your left leg in the air. Reach up through that foot. Breathe. Gaze forward. Step forward. We're going to come to warrior one today. So plant your back foot. Plant the front foot. Bring the body up. Your hips are facing forward and your arms are in the air. And you're lunging. So you might want to make some more space between your feet. Reach back through the back heel. Engage these front toes. Find a spot in front of you and breathe. Feel your heart center opening. And then turn your body facing whatever leg is behind you. Should be your right leg, but whatever side you're doing is fine. Make sure that your front knee is in line with your toes, those middle toes. Feel that your hips are kind of not rocked out, but down a little. And reach back through that outer edge of that foot. So that's your stability. All right? We just open out here. You can gaze forward. Your arms are at a kind of a shoulder level here. Breathe. And we're going to paint a rainbow. So touch back and lift the front arm up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the front elbow and place the lower arm onto the thigh and the back arm comes alongside. You can really kind of turn your body open up a little. Breathe. Inhale back up. Ah, yeah. Exhale. Inhale back forward. Over. I'm going to go back again. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to windmill both arms forward and turn your body and come forward and down again. Reorient that back foot. Maybe drop the knee a little for a lower lunge or just keep it up. Find a nice low lunge here. Breathe. And then plant the back foot and lift the front toes for a hamstring stretch. Breathe. All right, and reorient yourself to a forward fold. Feel your feet, your toes spreading out. Drop your body down. Hang out. Hang, hang, hang. Let your feet be grounded and your knees a little bent. Drop your head and neck. Take a big breath in and out. Ha. Ah. One more. Ha. Ah. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale back down. And then inhale all the way, standing all the way up. Open the arms out. Get the hips right up under you. Reach up to the sky. Lift up, palms together, pausing here. Feel your feet on the ground, maybe a little rocking to adjust your alignment. Open up your body. Breathe in your body. Inhale again and exhale back down. <sighs> Bending your knees. Coming to downward dog again. <sighs> Get situated in downward dog. Strong arms. Drop the head. 
Adjust your feet. <sighs> Breathe. Hmm. To a plank here. You can have your knees down if you need to. And lower. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Cobra. Exhale back. Toes tucked under. Reach out. Drop your chest. Take a few breaths. <sighs> Relax there. Rest for a moment. <clears throat> and back up to downward dog slowly. Right leg in the air. Breathe. Stretch it up. Strong arms. Push into the earth with your hands. Push. That push is what helps bring the leg up. Gaze forward. Step forward. Now we're going to plant that back foot. Readjust. Get some space between the front foot and the back foot. In terms of the front and back of the mat. Hips are facing forward. Knee is in line with those front toes. And then bring the arms up. Feel the hands above you. Feel the energy there in your hands. Feel your breath. Anchor in your feet. Anchor in your toes. Spread your toes out. Reach back there into that back heel and the edge of the foot. Breathe. Steady. Now open up for warrior two. Drop your hips a little. Get a nice lunge here. Reach back through that back foot. Open your arms out. Gaze forward. Feel that chest area opening. Feel the breath as if you're reaching your breath to behind you and in front of you. Let your lower back be a slight, you know, arch, the arch be there. And now inhale, touch back. Lift the front arm. Oh, yeah. Exhale. Inhale, forward. Exhale, bending the elbow. Back arm comes up alongside the ear. Open the side of your body. Breathe in and out. Inhale up, touch back again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, forward. Last one. Inhale back. Exhale. And then windmill forward. Inhale. Exhale. Lower down. Reorient that back foot. Find your lunge. I think my mic is still working. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right. Plant the back foot. Bring the front toes up. Get a little stretch in there for your hamstrings. Breathe. <sighs> and then we're actually going to come back to downward dog here. And to plank. And lower down. And I want you to go all the way down to the ground now and onto your belly with your arms down by your side and your head turned to one side or the other. I'm not going to do it. But you're going to do it. <laughs> so just be on your belly. Let your feet relax. Let your legs relax. Feel your shoulders drop down to the ground. Feel your face relax. Feel your belly moving and breathing. Ah, <sighs> Let out a sigh. Just let it out. <laughs> let it go. Feel your belly breathing, your lower back breathing. Feel the earth just kind of taking, taking it, whatever burdens, you know, just, just let it, <sighs> let it move. Just feel that you can connect with the earth this way, that you can just give, give your heart to the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just feel the breath. Uh, 
relax. Give yourself permission here to rest for a couple more breaths on your belly. Feel your lower back breathing. Just being here, just being. It's an opportunity to be. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and it's okay. You're allowed to do this. You're allowed to be. Mm -hmm. and we're holding space for ourselves, for each other. So important. All right, now just bring your hands alongside your rib cage on the ground and your head turned forward. Gently just push yourself up and back. Do a little rocking. And come to forward fold again to hang. Ragdoll, hold on to your elbows. Exhale. <sighs> Let your shoulders release. Mm. Hang, sway. <sighs> Let your spine release. And then roll up. Let your arms dangle. Come standing, open your arms slowly. Feel your body strong, standing tall. Feel your palms connected above you or your fingertips connected above you. Lift your toes a bit. Feel your feet under your hips. Feel your body coming into alignment. Bring your arms back down gently to a mountain pose. Palms face forward, fingers out. Let your breath flow to all of the nooks and crannies in your body right now. Through the joints, everywhere. Skull, face, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, chest. All through your back, through your hips, through your belly, through your legs, through your knees, through your ankles, through your feet toes. Feel your body is expanding and contracting when you breathe. Your whole body and the energy around you. Your electromagnetic field. Just feel that your body is becoming more spacious and just tuning in with the awareness of our physicality as spaciousness. We are spacious. We are spacious. We really are. I think we're like 90 something percent space. <laughs> so just consider that. We're actually mostly made up of spaciousness. Where the energy flows. The breath can flow. Consciousness flows. So commune with your body in this way. Become light. Project that. Receive that. That awareness. I'm going to root into the left leg and bring the right foot up. And then place the foot alongside underneath the knee or above the knee, but not on the knee. We don't want to put pressure on that knee. Find a spot to look at and bring the arms up into the air. Just play around with your balance today. Become the tree. Bring the leg into the air. 
and then exhale down. Readjusting. Come back to your mountain pose. Root over to the right leg. Lift the left. Place the foot below or above the knee. And bring the hands into the air. And find your tree. Breathe in and lift the leg. And exhale down. Readjust, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Wrap the arms around. Massage your hips, hit the hips. Come back to center. <sighs> Open arms out and up, inhale. Reach back, exhale, swan dive, come down, 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 all the way down. And onto your back. Draw the knees in. Give them a little squeeze. Let the head be on the ground. Rock left and right on the back. <sighs> Let out a sigh. Give yourself props for nurturing yourself and taking care of yourself. It's not always easy. It's good. Circle your knees. Just massage around here. Go the other way. Back to center. Lift your legs in the air. Bring your head up. Push your legs into your hands. You're holding on the backs of the thighs. Breathe. Get a little resistance. Lower the head down. Place the feet on the mat. Relax the arms out. Let your knees fall, go in toward each other. And rest here. Feel your body on the ground. Feel your breath in your belly, your chest, your body. Deep breath in and out. Bring the knees back in and out. Soles the feet together and reach for your feet or your ankles or your shins. So you can hold on to wherever you want to hold on to. And just hold here. Relax and breathe. Bring your head up and kind of draw the feet in toward the head and rock on your back. Massages the kidneys, adrenals. Back to center, place the feet on the mat. Again, arms back behind you, resting on the ground. And inhale your hips up for bridge. And hold. Breathe. If you want to go down and come back up, do what you need to do. 
Should try to keep your knees parallel. Weight is on the shoulders or the upper back, but not the neck. Exhale, hips down. You can bring your arms back down. And let your knees rock left and right. Back up to center, straighten one leg out on the mat, bring the other knee over and across for a twist. You'll get, need, probably need to get your hip up under you and then come over for a twist. You can bring that opposite arm out for diagonal reach and maybe even straighten this leg if you want to or do whatever other kind of twist you need to do. You can look the head in the opposite direction of the leg or same direction. Let's kind of see what your neck wants to do. And then roll slowly back towards center, readjusting your hips, straighten the leg and other side. Breathe, soften. Sometimes I even like to put couple pillows under this leg here you know so if you do your yoga practice have some pillows around for props for comfort and support these floor movements these floor exercises and stretches can be done for longer periods of time in a restorative way Good to do in the evening so come back to center in the evening time it's nice to do just a few a few things you know restorative to relax the body so for example I'll do some hip opener here drop the knees out with the soles of the feet together and if you have some pillows you can kind of put a couple under both knees you know both sides put like a towel underneath your lower back Fold it up, maybe even another one rolled up underneath your neck so you can just lie back and be supported. Something you can do in the evening time to get the body restful so you can sleep well. So just take a couple more breaths with the hips open. Imagine the ocean, the waves of the ocean. And when you inhale, the wave comes up the body. And when you exhale, it goes down and out the feet. Just washing down and out the feet. Breathing in and drawing the wave in and up. Hearing the ocean in your breath and then exhale and down and out the feet. Notice what your body is doing when you do that kind of breathing. And when you let it all out. All right, bring the knees back up. And now take some time to do any other stretches you need to do, maybe crossing the leg over and doing a little sciatic stretch on both sides be gentle stay in your breath
doing both sides. Do whatever way you can do it. Maybe your leg doesn't cross like that. Maybe it's more like an ankle cross, or maybe it's a little bit more like this with the leg in the air. Or maybe you just grab the knee and keep that other foot on the ground and draw it in this way. Maybe your body wants a different kind of stretch and you need to open the leg out and do some more leg stretches. Just exploring. Exploring with what your body needs. Maybe there's some arm movements you need to do. Maybe you want to just do some leg lifts for some core strength. Breathe in and out. In and out. Just breathing and exploring for a little bit longer. See what your body needs. And then go ahead and come lying down all the way. Legs out in front, arms back behind you, stretch your body open and then bring the arms down by your side, palms face up, feet fall away from each other, legs apart a bit. Ah, big sigh. Release your jaw, open your tongue, open your mouth, stick your tongue out. Ah. <coughs> Roll your head left and right on the mat, on the ground. Release your neck. Let your shoulders relax. Bring your head back to neutral. Your legs relax, your hips relax, your belly soften. Breathe in, breathe out, let go. Ha ha ha. Feel your lower back releasing a little bit. Just lying there in a restful posture. Feel that your body is resting. Notice the sensations you feel through your body right now. Through your legs and your feet. Through the backs of your legs. Through the backs of your hips and the way your heels touch the ground. The backs of your hands on the ground. Your shoulders. The back of your head. Your upper back. Middle back. Feel your face relaxing, forehead, eyes, cheeks, mouth, softening. Notice your chest, your neck, your throat, your rib cage, your belly. Just let your body rest. Let your breath go in and out. Give your body permission just to stay there and relax. Stay relaxed. Be peaceful. It's your, it's your time to be peaceful. It's your time to rest. Take a deep breath here and release. 
Take in the light in your space, in your room, the color, the feeling of being there. Start to move your hands, stretch your fingers open, make fists, circle your wrists around. Stretch your arms up and back. <sighs> Wind your elbows around in circles. Circle your ankles around. Move your toes. Draw your knees in and stretch your legs again. Move around, do a little twisting maybe. If you want to roll over onto one side or the other in a little fetal position. Just give yourself an inner hug. And just send some energy into your day that is calm. Imagine going about your activities a little bit slower than usual. Just taking your time to do one thing at a time if you can. Just imagine yourself being very present with what you're doing and your work and your play and your rest in your interactions. Just being present. Setting that intention to just be as present as you can be with yourself and with what you're doing and with others. And as compassionate as you can be with whatever's going on for you. As kind as you can be to yourself. Just imagine that today is a day for kindness for yourself. To give yourself kindness. All right, go ahead and come up sitting. Come into a prayer pose with your hands. Just be in your body, be in your breath, be in your heart space, whatever it is you're noticing and whatever you're feeling and whatever is here. Just be with it. Be in the earth, be in your heart. And I'm going to chant three ohms to close our practice. You're welcome to join in with me here. Inhale. Om. Blessings to you all. May the long time sun shine upon you and all love surround you. May the pure light within guide your way on. Peace, blessings, namaste to you all. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Enjoy your day. Bye.